Hi guys, today we're going to have a look at resetting the Stratasys chips that are in the U-Print filament cartridges. Some filament manufacturers such as Bolson Materials sell this chip with their filament, but the filament is still very expensive. So I'll show you how to reset or increase the capacity of the original chips provided in every filament bag by Stratasys. We'll be using a tool called Cartridge Writer to reset the chips. It is important to reset the chips before they reach 0%. Otherwise they go into read-only mode and they would cannot be reset. The only tools you will need for this is a USB to serial adapter and a null modem cable. Go ahead and connect the null modem cable to the diag port, so the diagnostic port on the back of the uprint, and then connect your USB to serial adapter um, to your PC or laptop. So one of the things that you need to look at is to install PuTTY. We'll use PuTTY to make a backup of the data that are on the uprint chip, so in case anything does go wrong, we can restore them back to full working order. Once PuTTY's installed, it's super easy to connect to the uprint. Just select Serial, the COM port that you've connected to, and the speed is 38400, and then you can just click Connect. You'll get the black window pop up and you can start inputting commands. To read the data that is on the model cartridge, put in ER000128 and the printer will show you all of the data that is in the model cartridge. Do the same for the support one, except the command is ER. 100128. I recommend that you make a backup of this because at some point in the future you will need to restore it and that will save you money and time in the future. So just go and copy each of them and label what they are. Time to move on to resetting the cartridges. I've got the link to the cartridge writer application in the description so you can go and see the GitHub there and the person who's created it. Make sure you select the correct COM port otherwise it won't work and then select the material that you want to rewrite. It could t sometimes take multiple times clicking read serial for it to actually work. So you'll see the output down the bottom and just make sure that it actually outputs similar data to what you saw in PuTTY. Click decrypt. Okay, so the most important thing you've got to do is you've got to generate a new serial number. But when you generate a new serial number, for some reason the program puts a comma instead of a period. So just swap that out. This is very important, otherwise it'll brick the cartridge and then you'll need to restore it with this data that we have made in PuTTY. This is why we make backups. You can see, if we reinsert the cartridge, it has gone from 76% all the way to 
I'm going to deliberately make the support cartridge invalid so you guys can see the restoration process and how easy it is. So what I've done to make it invalid is I've actually put the initial quantity a little bit too high so it will actually the printer will see the cartridge as impossible to exist and then call it invalid so it will not work. So if I remove and add again, the printer will say that it is invalid. And guys, that's why we do backups. Because if you don't do a backup, you're going to have to fork out quite a bit of money to get a new cartridge and filament from Stratasys. So I'll show you how to make the command to actually reset these back to the original state. And all we've got to do is copy all the data that's in the center of this into one line in Notepad. Once you do that, use Find and Replace to replace every single space with a comma. Now because we are writing the support one, put the command EW100. I accidentally put the 128 after it, just don't do that, I stuffed it when I was recording. And then enclose the command with speech marks. Go and start a new party session with the same settings as before. Copy and paste it into Putty, and that should have rewritten the cartridge. So go and read the cartridge to make sure it worked. So that's ER100128 for the soluble material, or ER000128 for the material. And go ahead and reinsert the cartridge. And as you see, it has been reset back to 92%. And that's how easy it is to restore. So this time we're going to put it at the biggest size I can get it working with, which is 699. So if I reduce it to 699, go ahead and generate a new serial number, but make sure to change the comma to a period because this will break it and you will need to do another reset of it using putty. Go ahead and write it, and then reinsert the cartridge. So, as you can see, now it's at 100%. Thanks guys if you got this far. The link to the cartridge writer program and putty is in the description. If you have any questions about the process, drop a comment, and while you're at it, smash the subscribe button. See you guys later.